We continue to follow breaking news this morning. It has been a very busy night for firefighters working in these bitter cold temperatures. There were at least a half dozen calls across the area overnight, including a fatal fire in Westmoreland County. Megan Schiller is live in Salem Township at the scene of that fire with details. Good morning. We just finished speaking with the police, with the fire chief who did confirm that there was a young victim in this fire. The home behind me is a duplex. You can see right now it's covered in foam. It is still smoking. This fire broke out after one this morning and they've been here all morning and they tell us that they still haven't successfully got all of the hot spots extinguished inside the home. They said that on the far left side of the home was an older woman. She did make it out okay. And on the right side were uh, parents of that victim, and they made it out okay as well. We did talk with that victim's brother off camera. He said that his, his younger brother just didn't make it out in time, and he said he thought his brother was around 18 years old. Now, the fire chief said these extreme conditions out here have really made things very difficult for them. They said they couldn't put anyone up on ladders. They couldn't put anyone on the roof, anyone on even the front porch because of these conditions. Everything iced over immediately as they were trying to put out the flames. The entire area in front of the home is now a sheet of ice. They were here on scene and they still have been throwing gravel down in order to try to make the conditions a little safer for the firefighters. And even right here, this is firefighters gloves. He said he had them on and threw them off to the side to change out for warmer gloves. And when he came back, they were frozen. You can knock them up against my mic stand here. So that's just to give you an idea of how bitterly cold it is out here. But still, firefighters from run 14 different crews, they say, were out here, including many, many volunteer fire departments, in order to try to get things under control. So we're going to, of course, bring you updates throughout the remainder of the morning. But for now, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio.